Before we get started in this video, I do want to take a moment and say this Sunday, June 30th at 10 a.m. on our channel under the community, we are going to open up a discussion about why don't you go to church? Uh, what is it about church that is holding you away? Uh, because I have my struggles as well, and I'm going to share those with you this Sunday. Uh, but join us. That's going to be under the community tab at the God Family and Guns YouTube page. When Sig Sauer introduced the P365, it transformed the concealed carry gun. They literally invented the micro compact. And shortly after that, manufacturers all over this world sought to get into that competition, that micro compact competition. Now, I fired a lot of micro compacts. Uh, but there's one particular company that has kind of left me scratching my head uh, for really the last year uh, when it comes to micro compacts. Uh, now, before we get into it, I do want to take a moment and thank our sponsor, ES Power Drink, for not just supporting this channel, but for creating this delicious drink that has Trinidad scorpion peppers. And as many of you have known, I've been dealing with some heart issues and this has really been at the basis of strengthening my health and losing weight. Uh, I can't eat a Trinidad scorpion pepper, and even if I could, I don't want to. If I did it once, I'd think, well, I'm never doing that again. Uh, but I can drink this delicious drink once a week and, and reap the benefits of that. That link is below. All right, well, what are we getting at here? Well, the company I'm talking about is Smith & Wesson because right away when I was at SHOT Show, uh, when they introduced the Smith & Wesson CSX, I thought, well, there you go. There it is. They did it. It kind of was really like a micro compact with uh, like a 1911 concept. But the problem I had, because as soon as I saw one in the store, I grabbed it. Couldn't wait for that gun to come out. And it was fine and all, but the problem I had with it was the reset was three clicks. Literally. Uh, now, the way I've been trained is as soon as you feel that click, you've reset. It seemed like every magazine, two to four times, I would think I reset it, but did not. I just don't, I don't know why the three clicks, I'm sure they didn't mean to do that, but there's three clicks. And, and I'm not going to relearn something that, that critical. So I got rid of it, was not interested. You know, and then they did the equalizer and the equalizer was fine, but it was just fine. I mean, there were so many other micro compacts that were more accurate than, than the equalizer. Um, so really, I was very disappointed in, in what Smith & Wesson was putting out when it came to that category of firearm until I got a hold of the Shield Plus. This gun changed my mind completely about really what I was starting to believe was kind of just a big letdown by Smith & Wesson when it came to the micro compact. Now, before I get into that Smith & Wesson um, Shield Plus, I do want to kind of also mention just on a side note, in case anybody in Smith & Wesson is listening, the 380 bodyguard that I carry every day when are you going to do what Ruger did and make it a, like a, a, a bodyguard max? You know, do that. Do that thing. All right, let's get back to the Shield 9 uh, Plus. So the Shield has always been really one of the most popular concealed carry guns every year for a long time. They topped the market, especially between about 2015 and 2021, they were just topping the market with that shield, man. A great gun. And, uh, honestly, I was not interested in the Shield Plus because I was kind of let down by the Equalizer, kind of let down by the CSX, and I just wasn't interested. Um, it was just, you know, that was, a, at least they came out with three micro compacts this year. So I want to take a moment and also thank, uh, you know, we had a few families from the Remnant come down and join me at my range. Uh, Ivan, thank you so much for bringing this gun. So here's what I thought. My faith was renewed in Smith & Wesson. This gun was a tack driver. Uh, I was incredibly impressed with the accuracy 
Uh, you know, it always helps when you have a red dot, but that red dot was right on the money. Uh, there was just no making mistakes with this gun. It was incredibly accurate. The trigger was fantastic. You know, the original shield, that was one of the biggest complaints of the original shield. I mean, people still loved it, but it was still one of the biggest complaints was that trigger. It, it was very gritty and kind of stiff. Uh, then they came out with the shield 2.0 and they fixed it. Great trigger. This trigger, I believe, is even better. Now, I, I almost want to hold two of them, you know, a, a, a shield plus and a shield 2.0 in my hand and kind of see, well, is it a better trigger? Because it just, it felt like I couldn't miss with that gun. Um, I kind of want one all of a sudden, you know, I'm just going to be real honest. I've shot four or five shields over the years, never intrigued enough to own one, never owned one. Uh, even though, like I said, it was one of the most, um, desirable concealed carry guns out there for the longest time. I just, not for me, it wasn't not for me personally. And that's just personal. Um, it wasn't necessarily that I didn't like it. It just didn't jump out at me as being special in any way. And as a result, um, I just never got a hold of one, but I definitely want one now. Incredibly intrigued by this firearm. Only got to shoot it this one evening, but really just incredibly impressed with the reliability, the accuracy, everything I experienced with that firearm that evening. Uh, was only fantastic and left a smile on my face. Uh, as far as Ivan, the owner, you know, it's one of his favorite concealed carry guns. Apparently, it's one of his wife's as well. Uh, so, you know, there you go. The Shield Plus surprised me after a big letdown, I, I believe. You know, again, I know a lot of people like the CSX and a lot of people like the equalizer, but that trigger on that CSX, if you have one, you know what I'm talking about. You almost have to retrain yourself to be able to use that firearm, which I'm just not willing to do. Um, the equalizer was fine, but it was just fine. Um, nothing really that stood out that I thought, oh man, I really got to get a hold of this one. Uh, but this Shield Plus, Man, I really got to get a hold of this one. So uh, there you go. Uh, love to know your thoughts on all this. Uh, definitely put it below. Again, if you're dealing with some health issues or you're trying to lose weight or just want to reap the benefits of Trinidad Scorpion Peppers, that link is below. I do want to take a moment and say that if you feel called to support this channel to Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.